In today's video, I'll talk about uh, the parallel indexing techniques as used by marine radar on ships. Because uh, investigation of casualties involving the grounding of ships when radar was being used as an aid to navigation have indicated that a factor contributing to the grounding was the lack of adequate monitoring of the ship's position during the period of time leading up to the casualty. Valuable assistance to position monitoring in relation to a predetermined navigation plan could have been given in such cases if the bridge personnel had used the techniques of parallel index plotting on the radar display. Such techniques should be practiced in clear weather during straightforward passages so that bridge personnel become thoroughly familiar with this technique before attempting it in confined and difficult passages or at night or in restricted visibility. The basic principle of parallel index plotting can be applied to either a stabilized relative motion display or a ground stabilized true motion display. Both the methods will give track over ground. In the subsequent slides, I'll show you examples shown for a one nautical mile parallel index. I'll first take up various examples of the relative motion when stabilized and end it with an example of true motion when ground stabilized. On a stabilized relative motion display, the echo of a fixed object will move across the display in a direction which is the exact reciprocal of the course made good by own ship, a speed commensurate to that of own ship over the ground. A line drawn from the echo of the fixed object tangential to the variable range marker circle set to the desired passing distance will indicate the forecast track of the echo as own ship proceeds. If the bearing cursor is set parallel to, the, to this track, it will indicate the course to make good for own ship. Any displacement of the echo from the forecast track will indicate a departure from the desired course over the ground. As you will see now on your screens, I'll show you example of what happens when the vessel drifts to port and then when vessel drifts to starboard of the desired track. How you see will the parallel index marker move with respect to the ship's movement. On a radar display operating in relative motion presentation, own vessel is at the center or the radar. When own vessel is moving, the land detected on radar appears to move in the reciprocal direction across the display, whilst own vessel remains fixed to the radar origin. In this example, own vessel is proceeding at 273 degrees true, 12 knots and passing 0.7 nautical miles away from a landmark. There is no current, so we should expect the landmark, which we'll call shelter point, to track at 12 knots across the display in the direction of 093 degrees true. We could instead draw a line on the radar display at 0.7 nautical miles and maneuver the vessel so that shelter point tracks along that line. In that way, we can maintain the vessel along the planned track 273 degrees true track, which runs 0.7 nautical miles from land. This line is known as the parallel index line. On modern radars, this is electronically generated on the display. When the rain scale is changed, the index lines are shifted accordingly, so they still appear at the required distance from the radar origin. For example, the vessel is using the light beacon as a reference mark along the two legs of the planned route, 270 degrees true and 343 degrees true at a bearing, if you can see it in the diagram. Set up the index line for the first leg at 270 degrees 2 at 0.8 nautical miles. 
the beacon will be northward of the vessel so the index line should be drawn northward of the radar origin set up the index line for the second leg 343 degrees to 0.5 nautical miles away the beacon will be eastward of the vessel thus the index line is eastward of the radar origin what you see on your screen here is the first leg 270 degrees to vessel is on track approaching to the turning point vessel has just completed the turn and settled on the second leg of 343 degrees to on track vessel is slightly port of track that is further away from the beacon than intended so you need to correct it by turning the vessel slightly to starboard vessel is now back on track on the second leg 343 degrees to heading should be adjusted to maintain vessel on track in the method shown before parallel indexing is used to maintain the vessel precisely on track along the planned route sometimes this may not be all too practical particularly where collision avoidance action may be necessary now let's examine a method that offers some flexibility here the vessel have a general route but does not have to be maintained along a specific track as long as it remains within the traffic lane it is safe this allows for the possibility of deviation such as may be required to avoid other vessels this method does require some experience and exposure but it is easy to master it incorporates clear go areas as well as no go areas ultimately making it convenient for the navigator to follow let's set up the radar now set up two index lines for the first leg say 046 degrees to at point 7 nautical miles and 1.5 nautical miles away respectively we are using the northwestern edge of the island as the reference point since the reference point will be eastward of the vessel both the index lines should be drawn eastward of the radar origin set up the two index lines for the second leg 090 degrees to 0.9 nautical miles and 1.7 nautical miles away respectively on the second leg the reference point used is the light beacon the light beacon will be southward of the vessel so both the index lines should be drawn southward of the radar origin during the first leg 046 degrees to the reference point that is the northwestern edge of the island appears right in the middle between the two 046 degrees true index lines this indicates that the vessel is right in the middle of the traffic lane the reference point that is the light beacon for the next leg has just on this range scale we take note of where it is in relation to the next set of index lines that is 090 degrees true the beacon is still some distance away from the 090 degrees true index lines indicating that it will be still be some time before the vessel reaches the turning point into the next leg the island or the northwest edge of the island is still between the index lines of the first leg that is 046 degrees true indicating that the vessel has been maintained with the within the traffic lane on the first leg the light beacon has just come between the index lines of the second leg that is 090 degrees true indicating that the vessel is now within the traffic lane constituting the second leg the vessel can turn eastward now in the second leg 090 degrees to the light beacon appears between the two index lines indicating that the vessel is within the traffic lane it is however not in the middle between the two index lines thus the vessel is offset to one side of the lane if required the heading can be adjusted to steer the vessel back to the middle of the lane in this case to port the use of the index lines for the first leg is finished 
so they are removed the next pair of index lines should now be set and the next reference point be identified on radar avoid displaying the index lines for more than two legs along a planned route otherwise chances of operator errors are likely Finally, before I end the presentation today, I also want to talk about the ground stabilized true. In the ground stabilized true motion display, the echo of a fixed object will remain stationary on the display and the origin of the display that is own ship will move along the course made good by own ship at a speed commensurate to that of own ship over the ground. A line should be drawn from the echo of the fixed object tangential to the variable range marker circle set to the desired passing distance. If the electronic bearing marker is set parallel to this line, it will indicate the course to be made good by own ship over the ground. Any departure of own ship from this course will be indicated by the drawn line not being tangential to the variable range marker or the variable range marker circle. The variable range marker circle should move along the line like a ball rolling along a straight edge. The engraved parallel lines on the face of the bearing cursor can be used as an aid to drawing the index lines on say a reflection pointer or reflection plotter and to supplement the bearing cursor. It should be borne in mind that parallel indexing is not an aid to safe navigation and does not supersede the requirements for position fixing at regular intervals using all methods available to the navigator.